the ownership change procedure is used when a unit or property that you are managing is sold to another investor. The ownership change wizard can assist you with the pro rata of rent between purchaser and seller. A record of the settlement date is logged against the property and statements for old and new owners are easily accessible. The first thing to do when completing an ownership change procedure is to add the new owner's information into RER Master. Under your owner's list, we select the add button here and complete the information for our new owner. At the very least, you need a reference and a surname. You'll complete the rest of the information there if you have it available, of course. You'll also notice here that the admin fee of 880 as our default is also applied at this point. Before we can save this record, we do need to complete some disbursement information. We can then save our changes. We now have Mr Button showing in the owners list here. Mr Alonso will be the seller and if we have a look at his information here in the account tab we can see that some rent has been receded or is to be received by Mr Alonso. We're going to look at the ownership change date as the 17th of September and we can see here that some rent is paid from the 3rd through to the 16th of September and some further rents from the 17th right through to the 26th. By looking at the screen here we get an indication that some rent belongs to the old owner and some to the new. We'll go through the ownership change procedure and you'll see how the wizard will pro rata these rents between the owners. The actual ownership change procedure is done against the property in the system. We go into our list of rental properties here. 12 Siesta Lane is the property owned by Mr Alonso to be sold to Mr Button. We go in here, we access the change owner tab here and then select change the owner of this property here. You'll get a little prompt here giving you an indication of what will occur after the ownership change has been completed. So before we go through this, we must receipt any additional funds to the former owner's account. We must draw any checks there. We must process any charges and any journals as necessary. Any pending transactions will need to be deleted. All of this needs to be completed before we do the ownership change. We'll continue on. We have a, then a number of steps to go through to complete the ownership change. The first step is to do your backup. Save your backup to your desired location. In step two, we enter the date of the ownership change or settlement date. As I mentioned earlier, we're going to use the 17th of September. Step three, you can enter in any brief comments if applicable. And in step four, we select the new owner of the property. We can see here the existing owner or current owner is Mr Alonso. In here we will then select Mr Button as the new owner and we can now see new owner's details showing here. Select the next button. We're then asked to confirm that the 17th of September is the correct date of the ownership change. We say yes here. We are also then asked to confirm the old owner and the new owner details. We are happy with these, inf this information, so we'll say yes. Now is where we get to pro rata the rents between the owners. We have the option up here to allow ARIA Master to calculate the rent journals or that you have previously done or that no journals are required. If I put the dot in have ARIA Master calculate the rent journals, I then need to select who the owner of the property is on settlement date. If you're unsure about who the owner is or who will be receiving the rent for the day, we do have a little option here which gives you some further information. If you need to know this information, please contact the relevant solicitors who are dealing with the settlement. Please do not ring RER Master Support as we are unable to assist you with this option. We are going to say uh, that the settlement day rent belongs to the purchaser, i.e. Mr Button. And in selecting that option there, it gives us some further information to read in regards to the calculated amounts depending on the accuracy of the settlement date and the pay-to date for the tenant. What we can then see here is the tenant listed 
Mr Abbott currently has his rent paid up to the 26th of the 9th with a rent credit of $35.71. The daily amount comes down to $71.43 or 10 days worth of rent from the 17th through to the 26th. That's a total of $750.01 as per the calculations by the program. You'll then see the relevant journals in the bottom half of this screen here of what's going to occur. The top two journals here are the debits and credits for the rental income between the owners. The bottom two journals here are the debits and credits of the management fees or commission that will be charged to Mr Alonso in that we need to refund from the business or manager ledger. In looking at the information on the screen here, I'm going to just adjust these slightly. I'm going to put in and just even up the amount of monies to be transferred between the two owners. $750 in rent between the two owners and $66 worth of commission from the manager or business ledger back to Mr Alonzo. If we're happy then with the journals that we can see and the calculations there, we can click Next. We're almost completed the procedure here. We now just need to acknowledge a number of points. First is to check the journal entries and acknowledge that they're correct. Second, that we understand irrespective of the change over date that all transactions process will be linked to the new owner. And that the pro rata of information here is for rental balances only. It does not take into account any other transactions. If the tenant had been in arrears, funds may be owed between the outgoing and incoming owners. Okay. The other points to consider, very important that you read them, that both owners will be charged their admin fees as per the owner files and that there may be other transactions that require pro rata adjustments. Okay. By acknowledging these steps here, we can then complete the end of month uh, the ownership change procedure and we can see there now that the ownership change has been logged against the property as of our system date here the 30th of September we have on the 17th of the 9th Mr Alonso sold his unit to Mr Button and our user Mr Capital here was the person who if we then go to look at the relevant owners we can see then the journals between the two Mr Alonso here we can see here then that the $750 worth of rent has been debited from his account and that he's been credited for the commission on that $750. We can see under Mr Button here that he has been credited the $750 there and under our balances option here we can see that when our end of month or disbursement procedure is completed that he'll be charged $66 worth of commission and also the 880 admin fee here. So there we've completed an ownership change process in REI Master and we still have the relevant records for the respective owners and information about them when they own the property.